Hi there, this is Åsa with another scrapbooking process video. Today I am sharing a layout process uh, with uh, a photo of uh, myself. This will be a layout for my book of me. My book of me is actually just an ordinary album where I put pages that is a little bit more private to me and uh, where I put the, the layouts that are more philosophical, a little bit more therapeutical and uh, where I have journaling which is uh, much more personal to me than the ordinary stuff happening to our family like uh, vacations and, and holidays and, and uh, such. So this will be one of those layouts with some personal journaling and uh, the photo of me uh, is from this uh, summer, I think it's what it was Midsummer Eve and uh, I was relaxing after having prepared uh, Midsummer uh, lunch for uh, the family and uh, uh, Hubby took this photo of me uh, while I was sitting dreaming <laughs> looking out the window and I thought it was a perfect photo for this kind of a um, layout so what I'm doing now at the video is that I punch out uh, circles from a journaling paper so I just get the lines and then I add those onto brown cardstock so that I get uh, speech bubbles. And I have uh, added a journaling card, one of those uh, lovely uh, kind of photo journaling cards from uh, the Strawberry Fields collection and it says the day I decided that my to believe in magic there was magic uh, something like that <laughs> you, ca you can see it at the end of the film where I have the, the still photos uh, and I also mat the photo onto the same kind of brown cardstock the paper that I've chosen for my background is a dreamy kind of paper from Simple Stories and uh, I add strips of uh, glitter tape to the top and the bottom of the page uh, to uh, keep it together a little bit more. I actually like that backside <laughs> a lot too but uh, it was harder to use so I chose the, the, the clouds to use the, the side with the clouds. And it was perfect with this uh, layout and also perfect with that uh, journaling card. So I add the, the tape here. The title for this uh, page will be inconsequent, um, but spelled with uh, in Swedish and with a hashtag. And uh, the journaling on those speech bubbles will be about uh, the thoughts I have which are uh, highly cons consequent uh, to one side I'm very spiritual and uh, believe in all such all kinds of, of uh, uh, spiritual things and then on the other side I am I'm a trained uh, science <laughs> science person uh, being a chemist and everything and uh, that has also given me the side where I always um, want to question everything that I hear and uh, try them and test them and uh, see if they can be logic and uh, um, scientific. And uh, before these uh, two sides of myself really bothered me and I, since I, I always uh, wanted to, to test and and um, have proof for everything. Uh, I, I didn't uh, get it how I could, could uh, have uh, thoughts and, and feelings like I had. But uh, these days I don't worry about those uh, inconsequences at all. But I, I try to embrace them <laughs> being a part, a very, a very important part of uh, myself. So this layout is about that and the journaling is about the things that uh, managed to fit in my 
uh, mind and my soul. So uh, I think I have been thinking about this layout for a long time and uh, it was really nice to, to finally uh, get it uh, d done. I keep surprising myself with doing things in the wrong order. So now you have seen me gluing down those uh, speech bubbles and then I start with the title. Uh, it will later become um, <laughs> real clear to me that I can't do it in, in that order. But uh, uh, luckily it's I could uh, lift up those speech bubbles and uh, move them around a bit, like you see here. Uh, but I guess it's better to do something <laughs> than do nothing at all and sometimes I, I find myself staring at a page and uh, getting nothing done so I guess it's it's better to do uh, wrong <laughs> and uh, actually get on uh, with the with the page so now I've spelled the the title it's in Swedish and uh, I remove all those uh, uh, embellishments that I put on the photo, except for the documented um, uh, label that actually uh, is covering uh, some uh, ugly thing uh, on the uh, counter behind me, so I needed to have that uh, uh, still in place. So now I start writing. Uh, I, I end up with a lot of empty space on this page between the bubbles and uh, I decided to uh, fill it with a couple of uh, wood veneers. So I go through my uh, jars of uh, wood veneers and I, uh, I choose uh, a bunch that I think will fit or uh, have some kind of meaning to me. And then I try to uh, color it with uh, pro markers but it didn't turn out very, very well. It didn't fit the, the color of the sailing boat uh, w which was uh, brown from the beginning. So I try with another color of Pro Marker pen and uh, it doesn't work either. So I end up with some distress ink and uh, my uh, my uh, felt tool. So I cover up cover all the wood veneers with that brown uh, ink, distress ink. I even pour some directly onto the, the, the wood veneers. I don't think it, that's really recommended because it, it gets all very uh, wet. But uh, I, I seem to, to get it uh, <laughs> in, in the right uh, places. Mm. So then I add all the wood veneers to the page scattered all around and uh, the bird got to sit there on, on that uh, uh, bubble there and I glue it down with my liquid adhesive from scotch and then it's pretty much done I changed the, the geotag that was shipboard into a wood veneer that I color the same way. But uh, this is how the layout turned out and here are some still photos of the finished uh, album page. So it will go into my uh, book of me and uh, I think it's really about me and that feels really good. Sometimes it's hard to know what to do with those uh, portrait photos and selfies and I think those go right into my book of me perfectly. And here's the journaling card with the text of the day I decided that my life was magical. There was suddenly magic all around me. Take care. See you soon. Bye.